colors. Stop saying it's that. Okay. But you know, uh, it's a different thing for someone to admit and apologize, and it's another thing for the person you are apologizing to to take it just like that. You know, there are some people you just come and say, "Okay, I'm sorry." I'm sorry. They'll be like, "No." <laughs> like you, the man people say no. You apologize, but it's like you're not saying anything. I think you say boys and so what there is say yeah, that. If I, you say you are sorry, you should be able to yeah. to also show an effort. Yeah. I fall, to under be that, I fall under that. I'm that talking about the other, yeah. other person. Which category? The category what apologize or the one that the one is getting the one that apology? Is <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, like like for me now, like for me now, if you offend me or something, don't say sorry at that point. Like show me that you are sorry in case. And the way you can show me is that I, I have to see like a commitment to saying that, okay, I understand why you are angry. This will not repeat itself again. Or we are we actually have a discussion about it. Check. Not that you just come and say sorry about it. Like, sorry about what? Or you know what they say? They will be like, sorry. So uh, it's not just sorry. They will say, sorry if my action makes you made you feel angry. And I'm like, if I'm not angry, we need to discuss it. Then what, what are you okay. so that, That's another way. And yeah. it, this takes me back to what I said earlier about sacrifice. It takes like a great deal of sacrifice to actually learn the communication language of your partner. Yeah. Because you have to learn how your partner likes to receive things. If if I'm the type that if you offend me, just buy me gifts. You have to be able to read into that. Uh, okay, I'm offended and uh, what's the love language? Then? Yeah, that yeah. takes sacrifice. If I'm not ready to make adjustments, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people don't even need you to apologize. Say it. They just want to see it. Yes. <laughs> Okay, now let's go back to the default, <laughs> to the real question yeah. of the day. How to also know if they will last with you is also about you asking questions on how you align with your goal. But especially in the romantic, we are back in that one, go, 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 go. <laughs> you know, like, okay, I'm with a guy now, um, we we are in a relationship now. We are relationship, relationship, Did not like friendship. <laughs> Are you trying to ask? You know, are you trying to ask yeah. about my relationship? Yeah, you know, we like, 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 like on him. You said I'm with a guy now. Yeah, I don't mind him. Anyway, I'm with a guy now, and we're in a relationship. And then, how to know if I will last with that guy? And then I'm asking him. Okay, so where do you want to settle down? Okay, we're in South Africa, right, Victoria. And then he wants to settle down in Canada. That's nice. So me, I'm not all the way from Canada. In my mind, though, I'm not saying it that way. In my mind, you know. Ah, okay, since you be this guy is going to marry me now, but then that guy is not like saying something like, um, um, like he's going with, he's going to Canada with his parents, or like something like that. But I'm just trying to um, bring the whole issue down to if they are going to last with you or if you are going to last, i don't know which i don't know which one is yeah. <laughs> which one is, yeah if someone is going to last you should be able to see yourself in their future you should be able to see yourself in their future and the moment maybe because that's why because that used to say something that whenever maybe he hears something or maybe two a couple is they're having issues in their marriage the first question used to ask, what were they doing when they were cutting? What, what were they talking yeah, about when they were in a relationship? Yes, yeah. that is not supposed to pose as a problem yeah. in the marriage. Yeah. So, so <laughs> yeah. you know what, sir? But that's another we're thing. Yeah, that's another thing. Before you can even go in a relationship with somebody, you can't have that mentality of trying to change the person. That for me is very important. If a guy is smoking, right, I can't be like, oh no, I will change him, I will change him. And he still doesn't smoke and then I'm the one that becomes offended or angry by trying to change somebody to be something that he's not. You get so for me that's that that part that part is very important. <laughs> it's very important. <laughs> it's very important. Okay, so running up now. Closing notes, closing remarks. <laughs> Can you please not start with me? <laughs> it's fine. I just looked at you. It's not even as talented in the talk. I will help you. I think the, the thing how how do you know if they are going to last with you? I think sometimes sometimes you just have to go with the calculating. Because, <laughs> because, because, because you can meet someone in less than three months and you just know. Mm. 
that that she's the one person. And then you can be with somebody for three years, and then somewhere, somehow, you still know. You know, you, there's a certain kind of conviction you get, where, especially when issues arises, that thing just comes back and goes, "Are you really sure about this person?" And if you, if you don't tackle that that thought, even if you end up marrying each other, you know, marriage is full of challenges. It's always once challenge comes up, and I was telling you, this is why I don't want to marry in the first place. You see. This is why my brother does not like you. Hi. You, you, you keep going back to all those stuff. So for me, oh, closing, uh, closing remarks. Is, how do you know if they are going to last with you? Check the level of sacrifice. Yeah. yeah. It will not sell because there will be an opportunity for that person to prove that love. You see, it will, it is not so easy to ghost the person you like. Yeah. You check. You will come back and say, let's work things out. You see, even if you are right and she's. Okay. Praise closing remarks. Please oh make my God, that I am shy. I cannot <laughs> park. <laughs> there has to be a level of understanding. We all have to understand one another in order for y'all to grow. You know, in anything, even if it's friendship or relationship, understand. Get again. Communication is the key. It's the key. Speak if you feel in a certain way. If you feel as if, okay, fine, I used to love you back then, but now it's dying. I used to care so much about you, but now I don't even care to know where you are anymore. You tell the person about it. Maybe the person is doing something that he or she doesn't really know. And I'm like, okay, fine, I'll try and amend my ways. I didn't know this, but thank you so much for telling me you get and I acknowledge that for being honest try and understand each other try and you know solve the equation you get so yes calculating <laughs> <laughs> okay and then Joy has some closing remarks um to the everyone out there to those who are in relationship to those who are not um you know for those who are in a relationship, for those who are in a relationship, you know, you, I won't say there won't be fights. There will always be fights. Always, always. Me, what do I know? Why am I talking as if I'm experienced? Oh, poor. My children. Please, don't come and spoil my reputation. Go ahead, continue. There will always be argument, fights, but it takes a maturity. Don't try to, to always want to win arguments. Don't always want to be in charge. Like, you know, maturity is you trying to be a leader and also a follower at the same time. Let the communication, like she said, let the communication be tight. Like, keep the ball with you. know, when you have an argument, it doesn't mean it's the end. Yes. Even those that are married, those that are married for 15 years, they can never tell you they've never never argued less than argue. 300 days you know? <laughs> no, I said 50 years married so 300 days <laughs> so it, it happens so it only takes maturity uh, okay yes thank you very much guys and a closing remark for me says that how to know if they will last with you just like I've been saying since the beginning of this video you must be able to see yourself in the plant the future in fact anywhere you are right now you can even start rechecking your relationship <laughs> because it's very important if someone is going to last you they will want to see you there they will want to build their future around you yeah. yes to change to me to change to us you know that kind of thing so you need to check all of those these small small signs and because Life is too short to be walking with somebody that you are going nowhere with. Because a lot of people, they are just going to get that old, but there is no destination. So that's very important. And we've come to the end of today's talk. Thank you so much. Drum roll, but please don't give up on your partner too fast. Please. Yeah. Please, if it's toxic, give up. Give them a second chance. Please, 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 bad advice. Please, 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 Anyway, thank you very much, guys, for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to share, and subscribe as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much.
Thank you.